how do I authorize users to see the details of the process? Let me explain what I mean. Well, at a process, either completed or active, if I want to do a search, I click here and I write the name of the process here, or I can write the, any data within the process, the date, the end date, completion status, whether it's completed or active, or initiated by whom, and I just do the search due to the name of the process, and I click search. Well, about purchase request uh, process, I have here three active and two completed processes. If I want to see the details of this process, I click to three dots here and I go to details. When I go to details, I see here I am able to see the active tasks, task summary, task history, process data, graphical status, and system logs. Well, when I click here, I will find no record because it's not an active task, it's an completed task. And if I want to see the history of this task, I see here at which date, uh, assigned to who, completed by who, at how much time, I see all the details here. So I will be able to see the duration of the completion of the tasks. Task history, I see all the details of this task here and also the process data. So it's an completed task, but I can even edit anything, any information at a completed task if I am authorized to do this. The graphical status, that was the graphical status of the process and the system logs. So how do I manage to let users to see all these details in the process? In order to show that, I will have to move to designer. Well, this is the workflow of that process. I go on the process and I right click, I go to settings. And at the settings, you see here the security. And from here, I am able to authorize the users to see the details of the process. For example, for this active task list views, if I authorized any user about a process uh, with this, then he will be able to see the active tasks, the task summary, and as well as the task history. And also, if I authorize users to see process data, then they will be they will be able to see the process data, but they won't be able to edit that. And also, graphical graphics screen display. So if they are able to see this, if I authorize the users, then they will be able to see the graphical status of the process. And another function, if I give them authorization of changing the process data, well, uh, not a lot of uh, companies do that, but if they want to, uh, they can authorize someone in the company uh, to change the process data. So he will be able to edit any data at an active process or an completed process from here. And also, uh, if I uh, give authorization for editing workflow, then the user will be able to uh, have access to the eFlow designer, then change any step of the process. And the administrative views is, you know, the, the manager 
uh, can see only the tasks that he is involved. But if he wants to see the tasks that he is not involved, then I can give him authorization about this. And the peak accesses, if I give authorization to the user with this, then he will be able to see uh, a task at the graphical status at any part. So if he initiates a process, he will be able to follow at which step the process is at for any time. So all this authorization is managed at the designer from settings.